Okay, girls. It's time for you to move. Moving day. Come on, girls. These guys sheltering the shed. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Out of girls. Come on. Oh dear. I'm picking this up. Okay, girls, come on. Moving day. Moving day. I want to check you out. I'm going to put you down a sec. Oop. Okay, you didn't get stompled. But she's got an exposed place on her rump. Hey, you. How are you? Yeah, you're a very flighty yo. No, it's not fly strike. Okay. Oh dear. Come on. There we go. Brindle, back here. Back. Good dog. Come on, Java. Come on, bear. Come on, Java. Good dogs. Learning how to be a herdy dog. You are so moth eaten looking, aren't you? You are so moth eaten. Nothing's wrong though. No fly strike. She had fly strike. You were treated. Hey, old lady. Little bit. Leave it to you to be at the front of the queue to get out. Come on, dogs. Java! Come on, pup! Come on! Good boy! Clever boy. They both smelt something delicious. All the girls, they think they're going up there into the wind charger paddock. The lambs are all here. I have to sort them out. I'm gonna separate the ram lambs out and they're gonna join the rams and I'm gonna put them all up in the orchard. Hey there, you just don't like sheep, do you? They give you the heebie-jeebies. Anyway, here they come. girls okay they're all in or out rather oh gosh this gate there good boy java and look at the cats there as well 
Hey, hey, Maya, leave it. Leave a little bit alone. Leave her alone. Now. Come on, girls, this way. Come on. Woo! Come on. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. Out of girls. Come on. Good girl, Brindle. Good girl. Keeping up the rear. Come on, girls. Come on. Out of girls. Come on. Whoo. Come on. Come on, girl. Out of, out of Brindle. Leave it. Go on. Here we go. Now they're all going to be racing along the laneway because they know where they're heading. Oops. Okay. All gone. They're going to like nibbling through, browsing through all my old grasses and herbs and legumes. So I have to shuffle them on. Go on, girls. Go on. Come on. Come on. They're all racing. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> well done, dogs. <laughs> racing down the laneway. <laughs> Look, little Java's trying to keep up now. <laughs> and see, part of that is the sheep know where they're going. And the dogs are helping them out. And then they stop. Isn't that right? Good girl. Java, you're going to have to learn about when to stop. Now I've got to get there before. I left some food in the troughs to make it delicious for them. That's all without the magic bucket. There's Mama Inca. Good girl. Clever girl. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Wait, 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 Inca. Leave it. And they're going out the gate. And into the field. Where they can eat lots of deliciousness. And I've got to close the gate. Come on. There's nothing more there. Come on. Go on. Come on, Ebony. Out you go. Go on. Out you go. Ah, job done. And they're going to have a lovely time in this field. There's loads of grass, even though the lambs have been in here. I like giving the lambs the ice cream of the fields, and these guys get the leftover stuff. Now, the yos are all racing around because the horse chestnuts are beginning to fall, and they love eating the horse chestnuts snuffling around like truffle dogs or pigs looking for horse chestnuts. They know it's that time of year. Anytime I put them in a new field where the horse chestnuts are, they always race off to collect and eat the horse chestnuts. I love these. These are new to the area. These are, um, comma butterflies. They've got those beautiful, you can see the edge of their wings is kind of scalloped. They're a really beautiful butterfly. Hey you, the comet butterfly flew away because you came over to be nosy. 
on, out you go. Come on, out you go. Out, oh no, 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 no. Out you go a little bit. I pause to look at a butterfly and trip over something and you guys all come in again. Ah, <sighs> job done. Whoop, bit of a fight between Little Bit and Ebony over the mineral bucket. Here is an anthill. You can always tell anthills. The soil is very finely, but you can see here, it's been, it was a bit higher, but it's been dug into by either a hedgehog or a badger, most likely a hedgehog, because it hasn't been dug down very deep. And it was probably feeding on ants. Not that there's not plenty of slugs about. Here's, look, here is an anthill that has not been dug into yet. You can see there's a rise in the soil. Inca, come and show, demonstrate. So you can see this is, so she's on the ground next to it. And then if I put her on top of it, you can see how high it is off the ground. I must say, there must be a fox in here. I can smell its must. I'd say there's a fox den somewhere in this fence line here because the musty smell of fox is very powerful. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Cyclamen in under the hedgerow. This is a beech cherry plains tree. Hedgerow. Yes, it's a very strong smell of fox. There's a fox somewhere in here. He's got a den. He or she has a den. Anyway, that's a little bit of wildlife evidence with actually, without actually seeing the wildlife is the anthills and the hedgehog. And there's not smell of vision, so you can't smell the fox. But it's, I can definitely smell it. It's somewhere in there. Inca smells the hedgehog because she likes chasing hedgehogs. She doesn't harm them. She can't. They're too prickly for her. But she's smelling the anthills where the hedgehog probably wandered around. So that's the big one I just had her standing on. And there's some more here. There's an anthill there. There's an anthill over there. So very busy wildlife area in there.